Hi mate, how are you doing? Uh, just thought I'd record you this quick recap of what we did. I'm going to keep things pretty short and quick um, because it's late and I need to sleep. So uh, I hope uh, this rolls up all right with you tomorrow. So first things first, we want to make a new project. So we hit the file menu, new project, empty projects fine. So we hit OK. I've already made a file and folder. I've made a file uh, a folder called test and a subfolder called one inside that test file and that's where I'm going to save this project and here it is. I've shrunk the project window down a little bit so that you uh, so it fits on the on the film okay. So basically we've got this project window here and uh, we have one bar selected with the uh, the left and right locator. You do that by just mousing over the ruler and then hitting click on the pen and drawing. It's pretty easy to do really. Um, that's all nice and simple. So that's one bar from uh, from three to four there. In the uh, this area here, this is the track area, and if we right click in this area, we can add a track. We're going to add a MIDI track. Double click on the title, call it drums, and then that makes a drum MIDI track. But it's not it's, it doesn't really have any drums on it. It's just a blank MIDI track that we've labelled drums. So we have to make a drum machine, which we do by going to Devices, drop down VST Instruments, and then in the No Instrument label we click, go to Drums, LM7, and then it will make us a little drum machine there. And if we click on those, we can hear some, I hope you can hear some of those drums. So, back to the Arrange window here. First things first, we don't need to see this VST Instruments view, so we can minimise that with the little Expand and Show sort of button. And then we make sure we're selected on the drum track or the MIDI track, I should say, and then the output needs setting to the LM7. So that's connecting this MIDI track to this drum machine, and we do that by telling Cubase that the output is to the LM7. Okay, that's so that's basically how we do that. We can do that for any instruments that you want, for synths, for keyboards, for drums, for basses, whatever you may choose. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, because it's a uh, a drum part that we're we're going to make, or sorry, it's a drum track. Uh, if we double click in this space between the locators on the same line as the drum track we end up making a MIDI part and a part is basically, in, in this case, it's one bar of MIDI information. If I right click on this, go to MIDI and you can't see this just off the screen but we want Open Drum Editor and then this will give us the drum editor for one bar that one bar of music that we've selected um, we've got the drumstick selected already, and to make a basic straight 4-4 drum loop, which is what I showed you, uh, we want a closed hi-hat on every beat. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, and you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 at the top there. We're going to put the bass drum on the 1 and the 3. We're going to put the acoustic snare on the 2 and on the 4. I'm going to hit the cycle button so that it loops around that bar of music, and when I hit play, Hopefully, it gets to that bar. So you get the idea. Uh, the the skipping there was because my cube, my computer has got loads of things open in the moment. I'm doing about ten things at once, so it's a little bit slow. Okay, so hitting return or enter will take us back to that original window, and you can see there the bar of drums that we've made. The next thing that we did, if memory serves, is we right clicked again. We added another MIDI track. This time we call this one Bass. And then we went to the Device menu, VST Instruments. And then in the No Instrument panel below where the drum machine is, we then went to Synths and VB7, which is the Virtual Bass Unit, which is here. And we can put this down here somewhere. We don't really need to use that for anything. But we do need to connect the MIDI track with Bass written on to the VB1, which is the virtual bass one. So uh, we can do that just that. So that's now connected. When we, we're going to do the same procedure for making a part, just one bar of music. So we double click, and that's going to make the bass part. And then if we double click on this again, because bass is a musical instrument rather than a rhythm instrument like drums, we want the piano editor, the key editor. So if I double click on this, we'll get the piano editor. And I want to just shrink this down so that you can uh, so that you can see it a little bit. Sorry about that. So there it is. So that that's the piano editor right there. Okay. Now 
I'm just going to move the transport bar down a little bit so you can see what's going on. I'll put it back in a minute. So, um, if I hit one of these keys, we'll get a little bit of a bass thing. It's not very bassy though, so we're going to scroll down to around C0. I'm going to take an A, like that. I'm going to take the pen, and for starters, we're just going to scroll and zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. Uh, here's an A, so we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, there it is. We can zoom in a little bit more using the scroll wheel or just by clicking on that, should you wish. We can scroll up a little bit, so C, D, E, F, G, A. There's the A note that we're after. So we're going to drag the pen along. You can still see the A note lighting up on the left-hand side. I'm going to put an A on the first, second, third, and fourth beat of the bar. Then we're going to select the pointer tool. We're going to click and drag a box around those to select them. Mouse over any one of them and drag them so that the note is sustained. When I hit play, just bring the transport bar back up so you can see what's going on. When I hit play, again, it's going to loop around. It's going to give us that. Okay, which is quite nice. Now they're still selected, so I can click on that last one and now I can shorten them. And if you recall, the procedure that we used for copying was you hold down the Alt key you'll get the little scissors sign, you click and drag there and then you release and that will give us now a copied set of notes, okay? So when I now play this instead I've got that going on. Now something else that I didn't show you but I'm going to show you very briefly because it's right in front of me 